Yeah, not for long, not for long. I've been following the program uh, since I came. I think I've been watching almost one hour now. Okay? So mm -hmm. I've been following what you are saying. Yeah. But I think um, it is like what you are doing right now. It's like uh, somebody sitting there uh -huh. speaking about you as a Muslim, uh -huh. but having misunderstanding uh -huh. about what you believe and using maybe the 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 the, the hadith and the tafsir to judge you. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't really understand what the Christian truly believe, mm -hmm. and you have your own understanding, mm -hmm. and you are using it against the Christians. You are saying things that, like, we don't believe, right? And that is that is it's kind of unfair. But I want us to focus on the word that you were using, because you said anyone who says the word uh, begotten mm -hmm. in the original language, in the Greek language, monogenes, cannot mean unique. Did you say that? I said what? Did you say the word uh, begotten? But yeah. Because it's like you were... I said the word begotten cannot mean unique. Yes, but, but the uh, monogenes, the word, the original language, can it, can it mean unique? That's not what I said. I said the word begotten. If you, the moment you translate the word, you bring it in, in English, you say begotten, that word begotten cannot mean unique again. Yeah, okay, but what the word monogamy is, can it mean unique? Can it mean, show me a proof. Okay, you have to go to John, um, can you go to John 3.16? John 3.16. Um, yes, uh -huh. the Bible hub, okay. Yes, use Bible, Bible hub. hub. Uh -huh. And go to interlinear. Let's see the interlinear, what it says. Wait, John 3, 16. Yes. Let me share the screen so that everybody can see it. Please. So Please. we share the screen, John 3, 16. I'm on John 3, 16. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So we do this. Then I go to the word. This is mono... Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. now it's on the screen. Guys, can you see? Everybody can see, right? Yeah, I can see it. I'm watching you on the screen. I okay. So now I went word for word. This is translated by the scholars. Listen carefully. Before mm -hmm. you bring your own meaning. Okay. This is translated by the scholars of the Bible. And they mm -hmm. put, everybody can see it on the screen. And they put the direct meaning. And they say he's only begotten. That is monogenos. Right? Monos genos. Mm -hmm. And it's written only begotten. Now let's take the word genos. The mono means only. We are going to take the word genos. So now, according to you, I've clicked on the genos. According to you, we are going to see the meaning. Everybody's watching. I've mm -hmm. chosen genos. This is the definition of genos. It means family offspring. Usage, it means offspring, it means family, it means race, it means nation, it means kind. Now you tell me, show me where it's written, the genos, where it means unique. Yeah, but now you are breaking the word into two. Because you don't yeah. understand. The word monos means only. Yeah, yeah Papa. Okay, true. let me go back. Like no, Papa don't enjoy the word. Don't hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, Papa. Uh -huh. Papa mm -hmm. Listen, somebody saying black meat. When somebody uses uh -huh. the word black male, yes. black male somebody, mm -hmm. and you break the word into two, yes. black and the male, uh -huh. you get totally different meaning. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it your way. Let's do it your way. Okay, but, 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 but can you can you go up small? I want to see. Um, can you go up small? Okay, I'm up. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, because it's not. Wait, go up small. I want to see because I am also in the Bible hub interlinear, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, it breaks the words down a little bit more than what you. Okay, okay. You have you. This is lexicon. This it says it doesn't say interlinear. No. N S N A S B lexicon. I want you to go to interlinear. Uh huh. You mean here? Yeah. Yeah. This 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 it. Okay. Yeah, this, it. Okay. So now you can check the word for word. Which word for? I'm I'm at the sun, but it doesn't say the words. As it's mentioned there. So yeah, this yeah, is yeah, monogenic. Uh -huh. Only, only begotten. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Above the sun, above uh -huh. the sun, you can see the word there, uh -huh. monogenic. Yes. This is the sun. Do you, wow. do you know why they use this sign there? Okay. So so, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. So we have the word here, monogenic. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't know how to pronounce it, even mm -hmm. if I'm wrong. 
Mm -hmm. And then now you can see the word unique is also there. It's not a meaning. It's not a meaning. What, what do you mean it's not a meaning? Let me tell you how it works. You have the word only and only begotten. These are the two meanings oh. there on the screen here. Uh -huh. Now, do you see, you see the sign? Do you see it on, on my screen? Yeah. That thing here is the semicolon. It's like a colon, but it's a semicolon. It's, it's a punctuation mark used to connect independent clauses, indicates a closer relation than, than does a period, right? So that is what it is used to indicate. Now, when in dictionary, when you are giving meaning, so I'm going back to the dictionary. Now, this is the meaning of what a, a semicolon is used, right? Okay. So now I'm going back to the to the this thing you, you just said. So to show you something interesting, according to the argument you are bringing to the table. Now, in dictionaries, do you see the screen? Yeah. Are you on YouTube too? Yes, I'm on YouTube. But can you see the screen? Can you see my screen now? Yeah, I can see. It okay. On Facebook, right? Now, the first meaning up here is one and only. But that this is for the mono. It means one and only for mono. Then the gene is added. Now, in the dictionary, when you are checking meanings, always look for the comma. Now, only here, that is for the word mono. Then they join the monogene, and then this is the meaning here, only begotten. Now, this semicolon you are seeing here, the next word following doesn't mean it's a meaning of a word. This unique is not part of the monogene meaning. Because this semicolon I just put here, this I'm highlighting, will show you what they try to denote of the word only begotten. But it doesn't mean that is the meaning. Of only begotten exactly and that's the whole point yes so that, no also, no so i'm saying it doesn't mean that is the only meaning of begotten but then unique you, this word unique the word begotten never means unique in any english language I get that point that you're saying. Yes, yeah, so the, your point is you are trying to say what this... Are you trying to say monogenos uh, mono means unique? No, that, that means... It means the word... You see, this is English, right? And mm -hmm. the translation. Mm -hmm. That means Jesus being uh, the begotten son, it is speaking about Jesus being a unique... Uh, he's not like like you and I begetting a son. He so according... A according wait, wait. According to who? That is the, that this, the, this, the, uh, this is this is like the interlineate of the Bible according to the, the understanding of the Bible. You know, who explains the Bible in that way? That that has been the tradition. No, I'm asking a simple but, question. If even if it's a tradition, somebody has to put it down, lay down a tradition for you. So who so who laid it down? Are you looking for a name from the first person who said this? Yes. You know, you yeah, yeah. Yes. Who explains the Bible for you? Who explains the Bible? That's what I want to. Oh. Who explains the Bible? The interline, that's what we're checking about the interlinear right now. But why? Why interlinear specifically? Because they did they write the Bible? The oldest Bible you have in the world, they are not the ones who wrote we're not it. Speaking about the oldest Bible, we are speaking about this. What you have on the screen, and you clearly said uh -huh. to be a foot to even think that it means unique, and that's what I was I was saying. But this is what we mean when we no, say no. this. Exactly. You see now, no, no, I, no, I got, I got, I got what you are saying. But what I'm saying is, the word begotten. Listen, the word begotten means begotten. In English, the word begotten doesn't mean unique. In English, yes, okay. Do you get my point? I but now, point. when it comes to the biblical aspect, what most Christians try to do is to give a new meaning to a word which already exists in the language. You are giving it a new meaning. Linguistically, it is not correct. 